loses, a person has rupees 100. If he wins, he gains 10%. If he loses, he will lose 10%. He wins twice and loses twice. How much is left with him at the end? How much is left with him at the end? So this is more like a percentage problem, I can call that. Or I can also call it as a profit and loss problem. You can, you can classify it any way you want. Now what happens is, but to understand the question, he has got 100 rupees with him. If he wins, he is going to win 10% of whatever he has. If he loses, he is going to lose 10% of whatever he has. As simple as this. Now, 100 rupees the amount he has got, he is going to win 10%. So 10% of 100, you are calculating like this, 100 into 10 by 100 will be equal to 10, he is going to win 10. The easier way of doing for 10%, I don't do working like this. Whenever I talk about 10%, cut down 0. If decimal is not there, so supposing no, 0 is not there, we want to do 10% of 121, it will be just 12.1, as simple as this. So honestly, don't keep on working and wasting your time. So add 10 here, this will become 110. Now his amount has become 110, he is going to win 10% again. So 11 is going to win, it will be 121. Now he is going to lose 10%. As I told you, 12.1 will be 10% of this. Because he has won twice, he has to lose twice. 12.1 will be 108.9. Again he is going to lose tons, 10.89 will be 98.01. So whichever way you go and you do it, it is going to be 98.01. Add on plus 10, plus 10, minus, minus. Similarly, I can do pl minus minus plus plus also I'll do, I'll also get the same thing. I can do 1 plus 1 minus, 1 plus 1 minus, I'll get the same thing. This is the way of doing it. In fact, I was also talking about profit and loss here. See, there's a formula when the selling price is same, the same profit and loss percentage, the formula is common loss or profit divided by 10 the whole square, always loss in percentage. Whenever the profit is, selling price is same, profit and loss percentage is same, the formula is common loss or profit common loss or profit divided by 10 the whole square always loss in percentage always loss in percentage now what will happen is the same logic is applicable here the same logic is applicable is going up coming down going up coming down here also when I make profit I go up and I make loss I will come down so the same logic is applicable you can use 10 by 10 1 percent loss so 100 minus 1 will become 99. Again 10 and 10, find 99 loss, it will be 98.01. So even though the formula is for cost price selling price, you should know how we can apply it somewhere. But the concept is simple. You can apply like this or you can do like this. You don't have to go to the formula, you don't have to remember the formula. You can do like this. Subscribe to my channel, which is free of cost. I will be adding questions every now and then. You can also register in my website.